Hi Aquarius, I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. So welcome to your general love reading for September 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Aquarius. And it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles in this reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Aquarius, let's see what is going on with you in September 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, we have the Knight of Cups crossed by the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so somebody is wanting to make a love offer here or wanting to open up more to love um, to come in but I feel like they're just going around and around in circles like just thinking about it a lot doing little things but just not not really going all the way here um, it almost feels like you know it could be little things like um, just throwing hints at you or um, setting up the stage and then just not not going through with it something along those lines or just going around and around in circles let's see for your energy we have the eight of cups the nine of wands and the five of swords hmm. all right um i feel like you've you've begun to detach yourself from this situation but you're finding it to be a little bit more difficult than, than you had initially thought. But you are doing it though. You are still pushing through um, with that effort. And I don't know, it feels like you're with this Five of Swords. It's like, you know, on the one hand, yeah, it's like you're, there's a lack of trust. Like almost like you just don't trust this situation or you don't trust, you know, that it's ever going to either fulfill you or, you know, come to be or that this person is ever going to go through with whatever, okay, unless that's you. Um, and then it also feels like, you know, you're, you're kind of wanting to put yourself first. Um, but I see this more of like a distrust. I don't know. Let's see. For the other person here, we have the Seven of Cups the Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands. For the potential outcome, we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, um, yeah, this person seems to, like, like I said, I do feel like it's the other person here, um, going around and around in circles. Kind of like having a little bit of confusion in terms of how to approach this. Um, or at least that's been what's been happening, but I do see them wanting this, all right, with the Page of Wands. Um, definitely that drive is there, and then the Ace of Wands, like, yeah. It, it does feel like there's action that is being taken here towards you coming up, but you're, you're just not trusting it. And it could be because, you know, maybe something like this has already happened in the past, and then, you know, it just never really... Um, went where you would want it to go and so now you're not really trustful of that however i do see some kind of balance coming in i feel like this person might actually be giving more to you this time um, with the six of pentacles so let's clarify and see exactly what is going on here all right so Knight of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Let's clarify that. All right, and we have Temperance. So that's Sagittarius energy. Um, the Nine of Cups and the Chariot. And you can't see the cards. Let me just move them a little bit closer. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Um, it feels like, you know, this person is taking a long, long time. All right. It, it's like you have been either very, very patient for this 
for this person, very tolerant even. Um, it's just something that has been just taking a very long time. However, it does feel like, you know, this is something that the both of you um, wanted or the both of you do want. And it's interesting with the chariot here, like again, it feels like, you know, it takes off, like there's there's something that is happening, but then it, it feels like it just doesn't fully come into um, fruition or it just doesn't yield the end results. And it's like you're just left with this longing or this this wanting and I feel like that's why, you know, you're you're choosing or you chose to walk away from this. It's like somebody's very, very patient and then somebody um, or is taking a long time and then someone else is <clears throat> like not patient anymore. Or you went from being very patient to not being patient at all, which, you know, I don't I don't blame you here. All right. Let's see. Eight of Cups for your energy. The Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Wands showing up again which was in their energy here. So yeah, you're moving away from this because it just feels like, yeah, you know, you can feel that, you know, this person has the desire or the drive, um, but it's like, you know, you want commitment. You want, you want that long-term stability. And, and it feels like, you know, that's what you could have had with this person, or at least that's what you, you're feeling. Um, and so, yeah, you're moving away from that idea at the moment, or you've moved away from that idea, or you've begun to detach from that idea of having a Ten of Pentacles, which is something very stable, very committed, long-term, um, <laughs> right, with a page. Which, yeah, the page cannot offer that Ten of Pentacles, so you're, you're detaching from that. Let's, let me see that Five of Swords. The Five of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're you're doing it like you're you're on that path. Um, again, I feel like it's not that easy for you, um, but really, like I almost feel like this is like serving you in a way. The fact that you're not trusting this because that's what's helping to keep you on this path for now, at least. All right, until you know you see where it ends up. Um, yeah, it's, it just doesn't sit right with you. Like whatever it is that's happening here with this person, um, coming in and, you know, trying again, um, I feel like you, you're just not trusting it this time. It's just not sitting right with you. It's creating conflict within you. And it could even be that it's creating this conflict of, okay, should I, or shouldn't I, you know, you just not being sure. And that actually is overwhelming to you because on the one hand I feel like this is something you still kind of want and then on the other hand you don't trust it so you're you know kind of finding yourself in this difficult position of okay like what do I do because I don't I don't trust this um, I'm not going to say anything more about that just yet um, I'm sure that the guidance will come through but let's see what is going on with this person here Let's see the Seven of Cups. And we have the Seven of Cups again and the Four of Swords. Yeah, it's like this person's confusion um, kept them passive. It kept them <clears throat> in a state of not really taking much action and it could be also that they were healing something from the past or something needed to still be healed from their past which could have been serving as a barrier but then you know at the same time that's not really your problem right um it's like this person is living in some kind of like a fantasy where it's like they're fantasizing about you you know they're dreaming about you um but never really going a hundred percent at least not yet all right not not up until this point um let's see the page of wands i mean it does look like something might happen here i don't know if it's going to be enough for you at the moment just yet but it does look like something um 
is happening a little bit more productively, let's say. Let me see the page of wands. <laughs> the Ten of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, I mean, th this person still wants you. This person wants this happiness with you. They still want this fairy tale ending, this Ten of Cups. Um, they want to be able to work with you. They have the, it's like the intentions are there. The drive is there. The enthusiasm is there. It's just them actually, okay, you know, doing the necessary steps to get you there. That's, that's the problem. It's like they're beating around the bush or they're just kind of, you know, putting in some effort, but not a hundred percent. So it's like, yeah, um, very like, it almost feels like this person is very like unrealistically optimistic that things are just going to magically fall into place or something. Um, all right, let's see that Ace of Wands. Because it does look like something's happening here. Let's see. All right, Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. All right, three aces all together. I've been saying this all along. I feel like aces have been a theme um, for a lot of the zodiacs, and it was missing actually in yours. I was like, where are the aces? Um, but here they are. They just showed up all together in like a cluster. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely this person moving towards wanting a new beginning here. I mean, they got three out of the four swords, uh, aces, right? The ace of wands, the ace of pentacles, and the ace of cups. Um, so this is a lot of desire. This is a lot of um, wanting something new in terms of love and also in terms of how inspired they feel, but also in the practical. I do see them taking some more concrete um, practical steps, but it feels like it's still just the beginning. So like, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Um, which again, I can see why you don't trust it because it feels like it's just always this new beginning, right? It's always just kind of starting, but then, okay, like we need, it's like, we're stuck in step one. Where's step two? I mean, it does feel like they're starting step one with a lot of drive and coming from a good place and with love being here, but I feel like you need step two, or maybe even step three. Um, so yeah, I can see why you don't trust this. Let's see that six of pentacles. the Empress, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Fool. Which the Fool, it's kind of like reminding me of the Ace. Um, all right, I definitely feel like this person is wanting to give more um, than before. <sighs> and do more than before to have like some kind of even reciprocity here or to you know find some kind of balance or to just give more than before in order to move things forward um i'm getting like you know what like until they actually do like you're <laughs> you're doing the right thing um, for you. I feel like you're doing whatever, what it is that's in your highest good by not trusting this until they actually um, prove that to you. All right, I feel like, you know, you're being guided here to really, you know, be in this Empress energy, being this Queen of Pentacles, putting yourself first, um, taking care of yourself, protecting your own self, rather than taking a risk, you know, um, let the other person, whoever this is, you know, take that risk towards you and take that leap towards you um, before you can consider this. And the good thing is, is that I actually see you being in that Empress energy. I do see you finding that balance within yourself where you're actually feeling good about where you stand rather than it feeling as hard as it feels right now. It's going to get easier. In other words, you're going to feel good about yourself and where you are, which is why you're not going to give in so easily when this person comes back around. Um, yeah, because you're going to be feeling good, really good about yourself. So 
yeah, good job, Aquarius. All right, so let's see if this resonated for you. Please do give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It does help me to tap into your um, energies in the future. So let's get the final message for you, which could be anything. And we have sanctuary. Take time out from the world. Spend more time alone. Meditate or go on retreat. So yeah, find your inner sanctuary. Um, take time out from this. You know, you you don't need to rush into this or rush into making a decision here. All right, Aquarius, those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.